Okay. Which is so okay. It's fine. Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Do I still recording? <laughs> Does my hair look okay? Mm, yes, it looks horrible. Mm. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you're new here. My name is Emma. I make videos. I post every Sunday, 8 o'clock. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can go down below and do that right now. So today I'm here with my friend Eden. Hi, I'm Eden. I'm a freshman and I go to school with Emma. I go to high school. So I thought that we would do this video to show a little bit about how we both feel about high school, being in different parts of it, me being a junior and her being a freshman, to kind of show like how we feel about different things. Okay? Awesome. So I have some questions on here and I gave them to Eden like two months ago and then we just couldn't get a date to do this. Yeah. So she already has some of her answers prepared. Also, I keep coughing so if I have to stop, I'm sorry. So now that we're over halfway through the year, is there anything in particular that you're glad that you did and that you want to share? Okay, so one thing that I'm glad that I did come previously before I came into high school and that now that I'm in high school is make friends with older grades, with people in older grades, because it's so important to have like um, the friends in your grade, obviously, because you're going to be with them, but it's also important to branch out. And for me, like... I've grown up always having or wanting older friends, and so it was it was easier. But I also like having older friends, so I recommend doing that. I think for me, probably when I started um, high school, was like really getting involved in extracurricular activities. So like I'm in musicals. I sing a lot for different activities. Uh, I did speech and debate for a while. You also did that. Yeah. Yeah. So we got to hang out there some. But yeah, so just getting involved, like, as soon as you get into high school, I think that's really important. Is there anything you wish you would have done differently right off the bat? Okay, so I'm already, i looking at my notes here, um, I would say try not to get as stressed because for me, that's a big thing is that I end, I end up getting very stressed very easily because there's a lot to do and there's a lot that you will have to do. So... I think just really finding what's going to be a good stress reliever for you or then partaking in that and like setting time aside like only this day I'm doing homework and I'll just focus on it and these days I'm going to go hang out or do something different because once you just make it all about school then or like nothing about school that you have to balance it if yeah. either or is too much. I really agree with that. I know that that was like a big deal for me too. Something I wish I would have done differently was making better friends right off the bat. You've done so great with that. You have <laughs> some of the best friends ever. I love all of your friends considering I'm one of them. Um, but yeah, I started off high school not really being confident in who I was. So I made friends with people that now I wouldn't have made friends with. And it took me down some paths that I didn't really want to go down. Um, but I obviously didn't know that at that time. So like uh, figuring out who you are first so that you can make friends according to that I think is something really important. Is important. Any <laughs> every time I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take a pause every time so I can get water. You could just be like a uh, water sip count. Water sip One, count. Two. I think I'm already up to like five. <laughs> so what extracurriculars are you involved in and what have you gained from being a part of them? Okay so like you were talking about before I did speech and debate and I'm also in the musical and I think it's really important because like you were saying that's a way that you can make friends too because you can then be with someone who like has the same interests as you but also it can be a way to escape as well like mm -hmm. with the musical when I'm concentrated on acting and in theater I'm not worrying about like oh I have this homework to do or oh I have to read this so it's super awesome because then you get to be in this whole different world and it's a lot more fun yeah so I think it's important like I was saying because it's it can get very stressful and you need escapes that are not like bad escapes you need yeah things that are gonna be able to be helpful but also not stressing you out even more yeah I totally agree with that I think that's probably exactly what my answer would be yeah um except I was also in volleyball this year and last year and the year before but yeah. for volleyball I think that's been a pretty good thing so that I could stay active mm -hmm. through high school because then I was kind of forced to go to practices so I wouldn't like have to go to the gym or have to go out running or whatever so yeah, that was another thing. But definitely just making friends uh, that you wouldn't usually be friends with because yeah. you're forced to be like in a team or with a pair for like speech and debate or um, with your cast for our musicals. Yeah. How does high school differ from what you thought it would be like? Okay, so this one I had to think about for a long time because, you know, I want to say like, oh, it was like so cool and 
it's just like nothing like I've ever thought about but I pretty much expected what was gonna happen and so like I I guess I didn't understand how much it would feel or what I would feel going through it all but I did know that this is how it was gonna be and I think it's important to have those like expectations be like realistic about things yeah. like it's not gonna be rainbows and high school unicorns. musical <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> it's gonna be something that's gonna it might hit you harder than you think it does so like to be realistic and to think like okay I'm gonna make the best about this and go forth and try my best and do my best accepting failure is a huge thing that's something I'm having to learn so like yeah. when you go through or when you enter high school like you just need to have realistic expectations but there's also a lot more freedom so it's true especially at our school yeah because we're a private we're school small very small for me I was it was weird because my eighth grade year I was homeschooled and then the summer between my eighth grade year and then my freshman year at my new school I was trying to decide where I wanted to go if I wanted to stay homeschooled go to a public school go to a private school or what private school so I toured a couple different places and then I really just like found my fit at the private school that we go to um, but yeah so like I didn't really know what to expect um, I just knew that I wanted to have a lot of friends yeah because when I was homeschooled I was so secluded and I didn't have any friends and it was just really sad so I think that that's something that I expected was that I was gonna have like lots of friends and it was gonna be pretty cool I did have that like high school musical image in yeah. my head though so that didn't happen <laughs> <laughs> but I do have so many great friends like Eden and oh, like others that you guys Eden. have seen on my channel yeah so yeah I'm pretty happy with the way things started yeah good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's not so much as like stuff in my throat, it's just like a tickle right there. Mm hmm This means tickle, just like that. Yeah, this is code for tickle. <coughs> what is one thing that you've learned and you think people should take away from this video? Okay, so I'm reviewing. I think that through everyone or from everyone I've heard that talks about high school and their experience and whatever, they're like, oh, high school sucks. Oh, this mm -hmm. sucks. And it's like and you know yeah like I was saying earlier you're not gonna have the most perfect time every day it's gonna be hard days but I feel like a lot of people don't even try because they just think oh it doesn't matter anyway it's just terrible I'm just trying to like get through it well in my opinion you need to try and have that effort because high school doesn't always have to be just about work it also has to to do the social stuff but the work is also very important so just saying like oh it sucks I don't really feel like doing it or always complaining and not trying your hardest is just even worse because to me like whenever I put effort into something and I really work hard you feel good about it yeah, and yeah it takes some up some time but like even if you have to skip a social event or say like no I really need to work on this then do it because if you know that you'll get better reward from putting in that effort then it's totally worth it. that is so good that you've already learned that and you're just a freshman because i used to always say yes to everything anytime people well not like anything just like <laughs> like people nice. inviting me <laughs> like people wanting to hang out and go places or eat after practice or school or whatever i used to always say yes and i just now recently started being able to say no guys i gotta go home or yeah i gotta work on a project or something so that i'm proud that you yeah, are I mean that. like my friends are like oh why didn't you come with a fantasy of trees I'm like I had a science project so sorry that I didn't go to see some Christmas trees <laughs> but it's yeah. okay yeah I think the biggest thing for me was just making good friends from the start and trying to find out who you are so like obviously the person that you are your freshman year is going to be someone totally different maybe not totally different but someone who's definitely grown to your senior year but trying to figure out who you are and be true to yourself at the beginning of it will make all the difference so yeah and you're always gonna learn stuff anyway no matter yeah. what you do and don't expect to not make mistakes because you, you will you will make mistakes. make mistakes it hurts and it sucks but you gotta keep going because mm -hmm. what doesn't kill you makes you stronger oh, unless yeah. you get Sandra. mauled by a bear and then you do that's on uh, mr. McCarter's uh, water bottle <laughs> oh <my laughs> on one of our teachers water bottles anyway well, shout out to Mr. McCarter. shout out to him Okay. okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any more questions pertaining to high school in general, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or DM me if you want me to do 
any more questions like this or if you want to see Eden in any more of the videos, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next Sunday at 8 o'clock. Bye. Wait, high five me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>